Yo, the title is clickbait, but not really clickbait because it actually happened. So I guess it's like half-ass clickbait. So let's talk about it. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. The channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys' third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see, consider subscribing at the end of the video. So anybody that clicked on this is either new here because of the clickbait title, you're a fan of the channel and you know exactly what the channel has been going through, or you're a fan of Falling in Reverse and Ronnie and, and you watch his stream. And that last one is super important because if you know and you follow Ronnie on Twitch, you know, I'll leave the Twitch link down in the description below, but if you follow Ronnie on Twitch and you're in his Twitch stream, Stream and you're watching him stream and play Warzone and play Among Us and all the different things that Twitch streamers do. If you're in there, you know that recently he had a, like as soon as he got to a hundred thousand subscribers on Twitch. I don't, I, I guess it's called subscribers. I don't really know what it's called on Twitch. He was going to be gifting ten thousand dollars to one of his subscribers once he reached that goal. And I am happened to be one of those subscribers. He happens to be actually a big fan of the channel, Ronnie. If you're watching this, what's up, bro? But also like he was really the first artist to not just just like not just tweet me or not just like you know watch the video like MGK and Andy Minio did like they tweeted me like yo this video is dope but Ronnie was actually the first one to put his entire fan base onto the channel because he watches my videos and he watches reactors on Twitch sometimes and the things he had to say about this channel and the things he had to say about my insight into his songs and his music they are they were they were all a hundred percent exactly what I was feeling but also they they also help validate the channel and validate the way that I do these long form videos because I know these videos are longer than most but people around here are are trying to get the insight that I bring onto the channel and he validated that insight being the artist saying that yo this dude is legit as I was talking about his music that was like a hundred percent all that I needed from him but if you've been around the channel for the last like two weeks you know that the job that I had was putting me in an ultimatum situation where they were basically telling me like yo if you want to work here you basically got to get rid of your entire channel and not just stop making videos but basically completely delete the 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 channel altogether so whenever I put that ultimatum video out like saying yo I need all the support that I can get within basically the next 48 hours or the channel is going to be deleted and then everybody on patreon came through everybody on discord was talking about it saying that they saying that they reached out to everybody that they know to provide monetary assistance to see if I can keep this channel full-time and a lot of the people that I have in discord are fans of Ronnie and are fans of falling in reverse and and they watch and are and are subscribers to his and are subscribers to his channel and they told me like in my dms like you know, I, I don't know if Ronnie's going to be able to do anything. I don't know what what he can do, but just know that within the falling in reverse universe, I would say it's one of the things to say that even if he doesn't respond to it, Ronnie is always seeing awe. He's always watching. He always sees everything that everybody posts. And if you haven't figured it out by now, the reason why I bring it up and why I brought up the fact that he was giving away ten thousand dollars to one of his subscribers that he felt was like was worthy of it is because that $10,000 he gifted to me on his on his Twitch stream and I was like what the fuck there's no way that this is real. So literally that decision by Ronnie to gift me $10,000, that set in stone that I was making the right decision in my eyes. Because what I was worried about when I was quitting my job, obviously we're talking about six figures. We're talking about over $100,000. And then on top of that, we're talking about some of the best medical insurance that you can get at a corporate job I had with the firm that I was working at. And then on top of that, we're talking about like 401k and we're talking about retirement and all the things that come along with working for a corporate, working for a corporation or, or a financial firm. Like everybody says that if the corporate world sucks, nah, the corporate world is fucking dope, especially when it comes to having that security. But what's even more dope is being at this breaking point with the channel where I had over 100,000 subscribers. I had 120, 122,000, I think, at the time that I needed to make this decision. So what's dope is that being at that position and knowing the potential that this channel could be and that the brand, the third earnest and the brand that I could be, like knowing that we had all that potential and we were barely at the starting point with it, having the silver plaque on my wall, having, having 
having Ronnie and having Andy Mino and having MGK and having all these A-list like celebrities come out and come out and basically endorse the way that I do the channel, that like already was pushing me to go toward to, to, to go toward quitting the job and keeping the channel open. And I had already made that decision. But even though I made that decision, there were still a lot of very important questions that were up in the air. But I said, fuck it, I'm, I'm diving straight into this thing. I can figure it out as I go. I'm diving straight in the deep end and I'll figure out how to swim like as I'm in there. So I did that. And then the moment I did that, everybody like swooped in on Patreon to be able to support to be able to support me and my bills and my full time YouTube. And then less than a week later, Ronnie comes over here and, and says, yo, I'm going to gift you this $10,000 because I believe in your creative ability. I believe in the potential that you have on YouTube. I believe in everything that you're doing on the reaction platform because basically you're doing it different and doing it better than anybody has ever done it on here. And I respect your opinion enough that I don't want to see your dream fall through just because of some monetary some monetary situation and that shit yo that shit like basically solidified the decision that i made that shit made everything all of like the all of the uncertainty that i had basically like disappeared. Now this isn't to say that I don't need the Patreon because $10,000 all at once is dope, but I still need like a reoccurring monthly situation going on where I can actually live. The $10,000 is basically just gonna sit there until I make sure that I have this reoccurring monetary situation. And then my what I'm planning on doing with potentially the $10,000 is buying like an entire stream setup so I can so I can basically do what Ronnie does on Twitch, but on my own side. So basically all this to say that in layman's terms, Ronnie Radke from Falling in Reverse has gifted me $10,000 and that was really the last piece that was all that I needed to solidify that I had made the right choice. Because eventually in everybody's life, there's gonna be a moment where you approach a fork in the road and you have to decide whether you're gonna take the path, the path of least resistance. Am I gonna go on the path that's constantly been traveled on? Because it's obviously a path that leads to security and it's a path that leads to very this is the way my life is gonna be, or do I take the road that's untraveled? And am I willing to basically state my entire livelihood on, on this road that's untraveled where many people haven't gone before, they've given up their dream because this road that's untraveled has a lot of mystery and there's a lot of failure uh, you know, associated with it. And I decided because I'm a creative person and because my passion is YouTube and videos and photography and everything that I can do on YouTube, I decided to take this path untraveled. And the moment that I stepped foot in this direction, Ronnie comes in and basically solidifies everything that I needed and basically gives me the $10,000 that's needed to make sure that I have some type of security while I'm going down this road. So Ronnie, if you're watching this man, like, yo, I can't even tell you how much this $10,000, even if I don't spend it, I, I could go blow it on some random shit, but that's not what I plan on doing. I plan on, I'm planning on leaving it there as a rainy day fund until I am guaranteed that I have income coming in from Patreon or from YouTube, or wherever, wherever it comes from. And then from there, I'm gonna potentially build some type of stream setup, some type, something for the video, something for the studio space, some type of pot, I don't know, podcast, stream setup, who knows? But just know that the money that you are gifting to me, just know that it is not going, it is not going to waste. I am going to make sure 100% that the $10,000 of your own money that you decided to lend to me, obviously you got it. I know that you got it. You just, you fucking just bought a Ferrari like two days ago. So it has nothing to do with the fact that I know that $10,000 is a drop of a bucket for you. That has more so to do with you gave it to me for a specific purpose and for a specific reason. And I'm gonna make sure that I see that reason out. But I can't even thank you enough, Ron, if you're watching this, I can't thank you enough for, for basically solidifying the decision that I made and giving me that financial security that was up in the air before you decided to do that. But that's all that I got to say for today, guys. Like I always say at the very end of all of my videos, I normally plug it with a Patreon. If you want to subscribe to Patreon, because like I said, I still need that. I still need that reoccurring income and most of that is coming from Patreon. And when I say most, I mean like 98% of that is coming from Patreon. So if you want to support the channel and me monetarily so I can keep this thing alive, as well as get additional exclusive content that comes on Patreon, click the first link in the description below. But that's all that I got to say. And like I say at the very end of every video, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.